but not, I can't say Jake Paul, Logan Paul, uh, who's a, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe Eddie Murphy, Charlie Murphy, no, Eddie Murphy's Gladiator, Charlie Murphy's Gladiator too. some people may disagree with that, but I think you know what I'm saying, it, 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 this is the inferior little brother that reminds you of the, the dope ass big brother, but just not as great. y'all the time has finally come I never thought that i'd be covering gladiator 2 because this is the movie that i thought would never exist and it's been whispers for years really scott's thinking about doing a gladiator 2 i'm like how maximus is dead that nigga dead how you gonna do a gladiator 2 here it is now 2024 and we have it gladiator 2 has finally happened and um to me walking into this y'all i'm gonna be honest this movie was dead upon arrival just because the love that i have for that original gladiator come on man the general who became a slave the slave who became a gladiator the gladiator who defied an emperor when i watched gladiator for the first time y'all yo tears all right I'm a big water bag anyway. I know some of y'all that know me said, Rashad, you cry anyway. Listen, Gladiator is a movie that's not supposed to make you cry. It's not. But it's just, that shit just hit so hard. You know what I mean? It just hit so hard. It was such a, a striking story. A, a, a classic revenge tale where you just couldn't wait to see the bad guy get theirs and see the good guy come out on top. Man, Gladiator is like top 10, top 20 favorite movie of all time for me two does not have a chance so when i sat down i said i'm i'm trying i'm trying to turn my brain off and say you know what uh give it a chance give it a chance yes it's not gonna be good as the first one but just just give it a chance and that that's what i did so here's the verdict y'all once again directed by ridley scott starring uh oh god i was trying to remember these names man before i did this video uh the boy that played lucius i, I forgot his name but he, he did he did a fantastic job Pedro Pascal, uh, Denzel Washington, and the chick that was from the first movie. So the verdict, what the fuck is that? All right, so the verdict for Gladiator 2 is that this was a good movie. It's a very good movie. Not a great movie. Not an epic movie, all right? Gladiator is epic, great, dope, all that in a bag of chips. Gladiator 2 falls into the good category. So, for some reason, when I was watching this movie, I just couldn't help but compare it to The Fly and The Fly 2. All right, The Fly, Jeff Goldblum Fly, perfect sci fi movie, man. Perfect in every way. The Fly 2 comes out three years later, and The Fly 2 is just a straight up monster movie, all right? Nowhere near as good as the original, but enjoyable enough to where it does have that rewatchability where I can't go back and watch it. And I did enjoy it. And that's how I feel about Gladiator 2. I, I enjoyed this movie. Like, technically, this movie did damn near everything right. Even some shit was, like, so over the top where I'm like, yo, this is crazy, but I'm liking this. All right, the you see this in the trailer, y'all. The shit with the sharks and the, like, dog. They, they, they have a... <laughs> They have a fucking ocean scene in the in the fucking arena in the Coliseum with with sharks. How the hell did you even capture sharks? To even put them in there? I I don't know, but you know what? I went along with it. This movie was entertaining. Are you not entertained? Yes, I was entertained. But Gladiator just cast such a big shadow over this film, y'all, that it, it it was hard not to think about it, and and it does tie into it because. This is the results of what happened after the first movie. So in the first movie, Maximus, you know, he defeated Commodus and he got, um, you know, he got the power to run Rome as uh, Marcus Aurelius originally intended, but he died. <laughs> All right. So now he gave power to the Senate. So here it is years later, the Senate somehow lost that power. I don't know if I just missed that dialogue or what, but somehow the Senate lost that power. It belongs to these two uh, very flamboyant twins. And it's funny that Joaquin Phoenix was in the first one, right? He was the he was Commodus, 
But one of the twins, the shorter one, looks like a very young Joaquin Phoenix. If you remember how Joaquin Phoenix looked as a child, that's that's what he looked like. It was kind of crazy. But you got these twins, and what well, yeah, the other guys from uh, Stranger Things. You got these twins running Rome now. And it's like, how the fuck these two dimwits get into power? Like, how did they even gain power? Like, where, where did they come from? It's like Tweedledee, Tweedledum. You know, nowhere near the menace or just the disdain that Commodus had. They, they were really disposable throwaway villains that you really didn't. Like, you, 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 you didn't care if they got there. It's not, if anything, you just didn't want to see them anymore. I didn't, I didn't care about them at all. But um, the standouts, of course, is... Uh, the one that played Lucius, and forgive me, I can't remember the brother's name, but the the lead, I thought he did a, I thought he did a fantastic job. Uh, Denzel, of course, yo, he's Denzel. You know what I'm saying, yo? Th th this motherfucker was Alonzo Harris, but in the Roman times. All right, <laughs> I've never seen him put in a bad performance in my life. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's just that this this movie had a lot going for itself, but it just to me, it just really lacked the 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 heart. The soul that the original had, you know what I'm saying? Like when, when you watch that first Gladiator, it's like that shit just hits you where you you really root for Maximus. You really want to see him come out on top because of the fucked up shit that happened to him. And here it's like it gets right down to it. You had this badass opening battle, and then it's like okay, boom, here we go. We have our Gladiator movie now, and I, I find myself kind of rooting for the lead, but not really. Like I, I almost I don't know. I almost didn't care for some reason, it, but still, this movie was entertaining enough where, yes, I can recommend it. I, I say go out and check it out. I watched it in Adobe, and I had a good time with it. Um, it's about two hours in. It's almost 2.30. You know what I mean? It, it clocked in at about 2.28, uh, 2.22, if you want to take away the credits. So uh, the runtime, sometimes I did feel it, you know, but overall, I, th I thought this was a very uh, well-paced film. Some some badass action sequences, man. It gets violent at times, you know. That sometimes they almost shy away from the violence. Like really, Scott goes in. Like you see a motherfucker get stabbed through the ear into the brain. You see a motherfucker's heads get cut off, hands get cut off. Um, sharks eat niggas. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, th th this movie was a good time, worth seeing at the cinema. So if you want to go see something this weekend, I do uh, recommend Gladiator Two. Uh, I have not seen Wicked. Um, I, I guess I, I might check it out. People are saying how how great it is, but it just doesn't seem like my type of movie. Glad Gladiator Two is my type of movie. Wicked ain't really, you know what I'm saying? So it just is what it is. But yeah, man, um, I'm gonna give this movie. Um, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a B. This, this movie. This movie is like the the almost qualified little brother of Gladiator. I, I guess I could put it this way. You know, what I mean, I I would say. This is almost like, uh, not, I can't say Jake Paul, Logan Paul, uh, who's a, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe Eddie Murphy and Charlie Murphy. No, Eddie Murphy's Gladiator, Charlie Murphy's Gladiator too. Some people may disagree with that, but I think you know what I'm saying. It, 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 this is the inferior little brother that reminds you of the, the dope-ass big brother, but just not as great. And uh, that that's the best way I could sum up Gladiator 2. So, have you guys seen it? What you guys think about it? Comment free. Let me know what you thought. If you like it, dig this content. Hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. This is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.